Ignacio stood, walked to the door, and flipped the cigarita out into the muddy street. When he came back, he said, One strange thing, amigo. Two weeks ago, just before the rain, some boys found an hombre, a stranger, outside of town. Someone had beat him nearly to death and left him tied to a tree. It was muy malo, very bad. Robbery? No, his saddle horse and pack horse were tied nearby, and he had mucho dinero, five hundred dollars in a money belt. Glenn Murdoch took him to Doc Taggart's office. Afterward, this hombre paid Doc and rode south out of town. Did he say who beat him? No, he told Glenn it was nada, a fight among friends. Well, who was he? Didn't anybody ask his name? Por supuesto, of course, a funny name he had. He said his name is Billy Christmas. I've already told you about Glenn Murdoch, the undersheriff. I went directly from Ignacio's to Glenn's office to pay my respects and to ask a few questions. Glenn was glad to see me. For one thing, he liked playing cards to pass the time, and he liked playing with me especially because I mostly lost. You recall when I said I'm not a good poker player, but that I tend to be lucky? Well, for some reason, that don't seem to apply much to cribbage, a game at which I'm neither skilled nor lucky. Anyway, as soon as he saw me, Glenn told me to take my boots off outside so as not to track up his floor. Then he reached into his desk for the crib board and the cards. Cut them pasteboards, he said, in case you've forgotten low-card deals. Let's see if your game has improved any since last time. It hadn't. I lost two straight games and was riding drag in the third when I brought up the question of Billy Christmas. Ignacio told me about the feller the boys found whipped and tied to a tree, I said. I understand he gave his name as Billy Christmas. Glenn was all lawman from his belt buckle both ways. He fixed me with a cool, official stare that asked why I'd raised the subject. Yes, he said. He told me he'd been riding the rough string out at the M cross. I expect you knew him there. Knew him and liked him. I was wondering if you had any idea who worked him over and why. Glenn studied me a moment across the cards he held and said, He told me it was nothing, just a fight with some friends. He wouldn't give me their names, so I took a ride out to the M Cross. Thane McAllister told me he'd paid Billy off and set him on the road to Dry Creek in the company of Waco Calhoun and Red Murphy. McAllister didn't say why.